Dev Sony here for Queensbury Promotions and I am joined by the Pexican, Johnny Garton. How you doing? I'm well, thank you. Yourself? I'm okay. Did you have a good Christmas and New Year? I ate a lot, so yeah. <laughs> um, so you, you had a fight just beforehand as well, didn't you? Yeah, I had a fight the 14th of uh, December, uh, just a six round, just to uh, get the cobwebs off. I just stuck to the game plan for a change and uh, yeah, it was a good win. Was Al happy with your performance then? For once he was, yeah. <laughs> where, where I don't want to hold me, he was happy and uh, I never got involved. I showed that I can still box and um, listen to instructions, so yeah, he was impressed. So after that, you then let go, had a bit of food, had some turkey. You, did you let yourself go a little bit over Christmas? I ate a lot, um, yeah. yeah, and uh, it was just a, a good relief to get the fight out of the way. No, I still got it and um, I had a few other things going on, so it was just a matter of focusing on them, so uh, yeah. Got to ask you, just, just while I got you, your nickname's one of the best ones in boxing, if you ask me. The Pexican. Can you tell me where it came from? Yeah, it was when, uh, I think it was the last ABAs I'd done, my mate uh, Keaton Hutchins just put on Facebook, come down to, uh, I think it was at Croydon. Uh, what's the name of the hill? I can't even think of it now. But yeah, he said, come watch the, uh, the uh, Johnny Garton. He's from Peckham. He fights like a Mexican. He is the Pexican. And then um, John Denham from the Boxing News here done an article on me and it's just stuck from there. So we have John Denon to thank really for bringing this out. He's the one that highlighted it, yeah, so yeah, John Denon. Good stuff. All right. Now, let's talk about today. Yep. I keep reading that Conor Ben wants to fight you. Is that fight going to happen? I hope so. I've, we want to fight each other, but um, listen, it's boxing, it comes down to money. I was just telling yourself, it's my last year and I want to make some money out of it. And um, the money that I got offered from Hearn wasn't good enough to pay my bills, so um, yeah, I want more money. I want two, hopefully three fights this year, and that's done. Um, I've had a great career, but obviously there's a few things I want to. I'd like the Jenkins fight as well. I'd like, you know, I'd like to uh, correct a few wrongs and go from there. And obviously Conor Ben and Hearn keep calling me out. They're starting to irritate me a bit, so I, I definitely want that fight. But I want to make some money out of it. I ain't taking it and not earning no money. How do you see that fight going? If, you, if your if your terms are met. What would happen in the ring? Be a cracking fight, that's for one. It would be a cracking fight. I don't see any going to points. I think it'd be a stoppage and I think my hand would be raised. Do you rate Conor Ben at all? What do you think of him as a boxer? Um, listen, he can bang. There is that. He, he, has, he, um, he can bang because he stops most of his people. He's improving, but uh, I just think I've got his number. As I said, it wouldn't go points. And I do fancy myself to stop him, yeah. I'm just, look, just looking at you now, I can see you've got a beard. Is that a real beard, Johnny? <laughs> I know where this is going, but yes, it is, it's all mine. <laughs> what did you think when those pictures emerged on social media, Conor Ben getting this sort of fake beard dyed into his uh, face? Yeah, it was a... Uh, it don't really bother me, to be honest. I've heard about it on your head, but not your beard. But um, listen, each to their own. I wouldn't do it, but if, if that's what makes him feel better, then let him do it, you know? Then let him do it. Then another fight that you mentioned then was Chris Jenkins. Now, yeah. that, that's where you lost your British welterweight title. How desperate are you to, to right that wrong and get, get Chris Jenkins in the ring again? Yeah, well, I was just saying, yesterday uh, I spoke to Al and he said, we're talking about um, Conor Ben or Chris Jenkins. Chris Jenkins, you know, he, uh, I think he's the first person to beat me in five or six years. So uh, he left a bit of taste, he took my belt off me. And uh, I'd love that rematch, try and get my belt back and, um, yeah, get the, uh, get the win. Is it a fight that you think about? You know, when a lot of boxers, they take a loss and they feel as though, oh, I didn't quite give it my all, I could have done more, and then it keeps them up at night. Is it one of them for you? 100%. Um, I don't want to take nothing away from Chris. I'm good friends with Chris, and um, I don't want to take anywhere. He beat me on the night, he was a better man, but I don't think I was my 100% myself that night. But um, it might have been he took it away from me, I don't know, but um, I'd like to get in there and... Get on, get on again. And how would you go about the rematch? What would happen differently this time? Be a lot smarter, that's for once. <laughs> um, but, uh, you know, there's a few things I'd do different. Um, I, just, I, I just feel like after the third round, I just couldn't get going, really. And, um, and I think it showed. He just took me to pieces. So, uh, yeah, I'd like to get in there and see how it goes. But, um, yeah, I believe I'd do ten times better this time. Hopefully we see that one. That, that, that was a cracker. Yeah. Um, so tell me then, you say this is your last year in boxing. You want to get two or three fights in. Why is this the right time? Because I'm old. <laughs> no, uh, you know, I'm 32 now. I can't go on for too much longer. I've, uh, I've got a family now. I've just had another little girl. So 
Um, yeah, I need to think about my health now. And uh, let's face it, I'm never in an easy fight. I'm always in a war. And uh, I want to be able to come out of this game being able to talk properly and have my wits about me. How much is that on your mind? So say like the Johnny Garton five, six years ago. Is he different to the Johnny Garton today when he steps in between the ropes? On fight night, no. Uh, when I step through them ropes, that's it. I'll give everything. I will never quit. But um, yeah, it does play on your mind, especially obviously what happened with Charlie winning in the gym and I'll go and visit Charlie regularly and uh, it does hit home and I think that's was I think the last year or so my missus and that have all said like you've got to think about it now and um, obviously I weren't happy with my performance against Chris so um, I just said I just want my last my last run and then I'll, I'll call it quits So in an ideal world it's December 31st 2020 how do you look back on your perfect year how would it have gone? Um Getting the uh, British and Commonwealth title off of Jenkins and knocking um, Conor Bennett and hopefully someone else. <laughs> All right, well, let's hope it happens. Good luck. Thank you.